Good morning and welcome back to the channel. We've decided to come south. We almost always go north when the holidays uh, come, the school holidays come, but this time we've decided to come south. Um, we've come down to London to, to go and see the Wildlife Photographer of the Year exhibition at the Natural History Museum. So I thought while we're here, we may as well combine it into some sort of a, uh, a video and photography expedition. So we've come to Richmond Park. Richmond Park um, is described by, on, on the WEX uh, website as being one of the best places for nature photography in the country. We'll see. Um, we've come really early. Uh, we were up this morning at about half past four. Um, so we've come in here for first light. Um, there is a chance of a, of a sunrise just breaking to the left of me but there's a bit of cloud that's just stopping it at the minute which is a shame because we found the herd of red deer um, and I'm hoping that if the light does break through the clouds just to the side there it'll light them up beautifully and I'll be able to get some good photographs for you all in some video. So come along for the journey and see what I see. sun's just rising now just behind London so you've got the skyline of London and then the ruralness of Richmond Park in the foreground The light now is exquisite, um, it's just breaking through and we're on the other side of some trees so it's got that dappled light effect through the trees and what's absolutely magical is that the deer are stood in amongst that dappled light and they might be in shade but when they breathe because it's still quite a cold morning their breath is being illuminated by the, by the sunlight so you get this golden breath coming out the front of them. I only hope that it comes out on the, on the camera because it looks fabulous with my eyes. Um, and then what we've also got is we've got some of the jackdaws and they're landing on top of the deer and they're pulling the fur out of the deer to take back to their nest and line their nest with, which is creating some really, really wonderful opportunities for some, some quite interesting shots. If I've got anything decent, I'll pop it up on the screen now for you to enjoy. This was my favourite shot of the day, the doe being framed by the three jackdaw as they flew off as the doe flicked ahead. It just made a really, really pleasing image.
we're just walking down to the lake and a herd of fallow deer that must have been at least 50 strong just galloped from one side of the woods straight across the path right in front of us to the other side absolutely it almost in single file uh, i've definitely got some video of that which i'll pop up on the screen now for you to enjoy to the pond and the Egyptian geese have got little goslings uh, absolutely stunning must only be a couple of days old it's tiny so I've got some video for you which I'll pop up on the screen now Well, that was sublime. Absolutely beautiful. Little Egyptian goose gosling. Very early in spring, we're only just into April. Uh, none of the other birds have got hatched eggs yet, but that has. Uh, it's certainly drawing a crowd, lots of people there to photograph it. And I'm not surprised because it really was quite a, a cute little thing to see. Well, the sun's come out. I've stripped some layers off. This is getting very, very warm. And I can thoroughly, thoroughly recommend Richmond Park. Um, I would say it was, it's best coming early morning. It's getting quite busy now. It is Good Friday. Uh, so it's a bank holiday and the weather's nice. And rightly, people are out and enjoying it and making the most of it, as they should be. Uh, but it does mean that photographic opportunities begin to dwindle as the number of people begins to increase. Um, but we're just walking around one of the plantations where there's supposed to be some little owls, so we're keeping our eyes open um, as, as we kind of skirt around the edge of, of it, and then we'll be making our way back towards the car. Beautiful morning though, absolutely stunning. inside Isabel plantation uh, what a beautiful little plantation it is lots of uh, ornamental uh, shrubs and bushes and a lot of them are in flower which is really nice it's nice to see some flowers early early in spring um, perfect for anybody who's got any mobility issues because it's all really really flat even paths You'd probably get a buggy or a wheelchair down these so it'd be ideal for anybody who's got mobility issues and there's plenty to see in here definitely worth a visit no little owl but no little owl yet coming to the end of this video now um we're approaching 11 o'clock and it's got very very busy now in the park so actually opportunities for photography are probably dwindled down to next to nil on top of that as you can probably see from what is probably my burnt out face uh, the light now is very harsh um, it's turned out to be an absolutely stunningly beautiful day so i will wrap the video up there um, if you've enjoyed it give it a like we've just passed 2,000 subscribers 
So I want to take this opportunity to say a massive thank you to all my subscribers. And if you've not yet subscribed, go on, it won't hurt. Um, if you want to drop me a comment, lots of people are doing that now, please. Um, and I, I respond to every single comment. And if you see me out and about, come and say hello. More and more of you are doing that, which is lovely. To, it's lovely to speak to people um, and listen to what they've got to say about the areas that they've photographed. Would I come back to Richmond Park? Definitely. It's been a fabulous place to, uh, to visit and, and there's lots and lots of potential. Um, little tip though, make sure you're here way before people arrive. You can, uh, there's ped the pedestrian gates are open 24 seven, so you can get in here way before the sun comes up, which is what I recommend. And that gives you then a good couple of hours to get some shots and be away before the masses arrive. Um, until next time, ta -ra.